We okay. love it. Another successful makeover by the Design and a Dime team. And we did it all for less than $1,000. Join us next time when we do another low-cost, high-style renovation on Design and a Dime. A Swiss chalet that's for the birds. And a real log cabin, lumberjack included. Plus a custom bathroom with the builder's fingerprints all over it. Next. Your dog gets the dog house, your cat, the couch. But what if you got chickens? Well, if they're part of this family, they get cooped up in an awesome crib of their own. Hi, I'm Stephen Kreitz. And I'm Mary Woodward Kreitz. And we live in Rosemount, Minnesota. What came first, the chicken or the coop? In our case, it was the chickens. So I had to build us a chicken coop. The reason that we built the chicken coop is because the boys ended up bringing chickens home from their elementary school. I'm Ben. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. And we're the Kreitz brothers. We had five two-day-old chickens with no idea how to take care of them. Uh, there's Blackie, Ozzy, Brony, Whitey, Medieval That's Warrior, Medieval Warrior and Buffball. The chickens at the time were staying in our laundry room, and they were stinking, and they were messy, and they needed to get outside in a hurry. To build the chicken coop, I started with this rough plan. We wanted it accessible and close by. That's why it ended up in our front yard. And then I just started framing until I got to the roof, and I knew I wanted a kind of a Swiss chalet kind of look. Chalet. When I built the coop, it took about six weeks total, only on weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, to build it. And it cost us about $600 to build it from top to bottom. I wanted the coop to last a long time, so I build everything high quality. I use three quarter inch tongue and groove plywood flooring, quarter inch siding on the inside, full cedar siding lap and one inch siding on the front for the fascia. I didn't want any ordinary roof for my chicken coop, so what I selected was cedar shakes. They're rustic, they kind of blend into the forest area, and they kind of look Bavarian chalet, which is what I kind of wanted. To put the shingles on, all I did was climbed up on the ladder, marked the chalk line, laid down the shakes in order, and pounded them down in order. I had the most frustrating time trying to line up all of the rafter tails to match. So what I ended up doing was I drilled a hole through each rafter tail, and then I just took a galvanized pipe and I fed the pipe through it. And then that naturally lined up all the rafter tails all at once. For the foundation, I wanted to keep the chicken coop off the ground, so I elevated it and leveled it up. And what I found, unfortunately, is that the chickens continued to go under the coop and lay their eggs, which is not a good thing. So I had to put chicken wire all the way around it to keep them out of there. In the spring and in the fall, when it gets really muddy around the coop, what I do is I put cedar shavings down on the ground to keep the mud down, and also it, it recycles the chicken stuff a lot better. So they're way happier. <laughs> on the inside of the coop, I insulated it, I electrified it, and I built them little bunk beds so that they would lay their eggs in the coop. One of the big benefits and why we continue to have chickens is the eggs. I built this part of the roof with a hinge on it. It's really cool. 
All I have to do is open it up, grab the eggs out, without even getting my feet dirty. Breakfast is served. Organically raised eggs taste nothing like the white eggs in the supermarket. Le poulet chalet. After coming up with this great name, we had to come up with some way to actually make a sign for it. So I integrated the name Le Poulet Chalet into the actual framing of the chicken coop and right over the front door. I took some stencil and stenciled or hand rolled in Le Poulet Chalet, and then I used a router to route out the name of the chicken coop. The guys have really loved the chickens. They love to play with them out in the yard and to have a good old time. When I get up at 6, because I'm a middle schooler, I, I like to hear the chickens waking me up by crowing and stuff. <laughs> Steve is just a great big old kid at heart. By the end of the night, the chickens are exhausted. I mean, they're just like, just put me in the coop. By building the coop, I did get the satisfaction of doing it myself. My wife, Mary, absolutely loves it. It keeps the chicken safe. It looks good. The boys obviously love playing around in it and finding the eggs. The chickens live a very good life. In fact, really, I built the chicken coop almost exactly the way I built the house. So they are as comfortable as we are in here, except they don't have a fireplace. Look what he did! Coming up, the backwoods retreat that took a whole forest to build. But first, the heavy metal shower that really rocks. <laughs>